How do you know that oil pressure sensor is faulty? Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. In today's topic, I'd like to discuss about bad oil pressure sensor or switch. The first sign that you know that your oil pressure sensor or switch is faulty, when you see the oil pressure gauge, the needle is stuck at low or at zero. And let's just say you are driving and your engine drives fine, there's no engine performance issue, there's no problem at all. And let's just say you're getting the check engine light and you're getting oil pressure sensor codes. And again, if the engine drives fine, there's a good chance that this is gonna be faulty and should be checked out. The second most common problem is going to be oil pressure sensor leaks. If you see engine oil leaking at this part over here where it threads into the engine block or it's leaking around the uh, That's gonna cause the uh, check engine light to turn on and trigger that oil pressure sensor code. The reason being is because when this connection over here becomes saturated in engine oil, it can interfere with, with the oil pressure sensor uh, function. Again, triggering that code. So if you see leaks coming out of this part over here or this part over here, it is time to replace that sensor. The next most common problem is going to be your oil pressure gauge, the needle is stuck at high. Again, if your engine is running fine and you're driving and there's no issue at all, there's a good chance that this oil pressure sensor switch is faulty or either that or it's gonna be the uh, oil pressure gauge that may also be faulty. There are also different factors that can cause the uh, oil pressure gauge to be stuck at high. For example, you could have a clogged oil filter. Before condemning the oil pressure sensor and say that it is faulty, the first thing you should do is always check for, again, check for oil leaks. You wanna make sure the connections are secure. You wanna make sure that the wires are not brittle and broken because that can cause it either open or short circuit. And if that part turns out fine, the next thing you should do is get yourself a oil pressure gauge. And basically you want to remove the oil pressure sensor and you wanna connect this to the part where the uh, oil pressure sensor is mounted to. Next, you want to do is get yourself the uh, manufacturer specification and compare it to get into the specification. If the specification is completely off, then you, you know that there's going to be something wrong with the uh, engine. If the specification is spot on, then you know that oil pressure sensor is faulty. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Water Repairs.